Werewolves are bollocks. Werewolves are bollocks. There, I said it. And by that, I do not mean they do not exist, that is a moot point, what I mean is, werewolves, even if they existed, would be conceptually flawed. Allow me to develop that point. So, a series of injections from a mad scientist, a hypnosis session by a psychiatrist with an eye towards world domination, or a bite from a fellow werewolf, and now you are stalking the woods looking for regional victims. Oh, perhaps you were the victim of a freak minoxidil incident. Who am I to judge? At any rate, you have ended up with more hair than Robin Williams and toothier than Bugs Bunny, so what has it benefited you? Sure, you no longer have to worry about male pattern baldness. You end up looking like Lemmy from Motorhead. You can open cans of a spam with your teeth. But are there any tangible benefits to being a werewolf, like immortality and being a vampire? or lame bone puns and being a moving skeleton. You get to be marginally faster than the average person, but not enough to beat your Saint Bolt. You get to have a better olfactory sense, but not enough to beat a fox hunt. Plus, no fox hunter would ever hire you, because your human side means you get to be unionized, and they have to give you health benefits. And you can't successfully get out of paying for your soup at a restaurant with a hair trick, because, well, look at you, and people bombard you with lame dog puns every full moon. Who's a miserable boy? Yes you are, yes you are. And you have to crouch like an old lady with osteoporosis, putting immeasurable pressure on your bone structure, leading to many complications in the future. And that is all to set aside the problem of involuntary transformations. So, every full moon, or every other night, or every time a keyword is mentioned, you turn into a raging ball of hair and B.O. So, like a Persian taxi driver, or a Persian lorry driver, or a Persian father. Oh, you get the point. Imagine you're in a board meeting, or your best mate's wedding, or trying to woo a young maiden in a pub, and suddenly you become Persianized. I mean, turned into a hairy freak, and your clothing no longer fits you, and tears off from you like water repelled off a dog's arse. Is there anything less conductive to holding a job, or being a best man, or getting birds, than being an unreliable time bomb that is ticking to blow up in an explosion of hair any moment? Why, your social life will be anathema. And since you're hairy as a coconut, everyone just assumes you're from Middle East. There goes air travel for you. And apparently you can only feast on fresh raw meat. You know, in a world where bloodborne diseases and salmonella are a thing. And to top it all, you will never star in any A movies, only B movies. You will never be an immortal teen heartthrob sexualized and exploited, unless in hentai, like that Edward kid, or played by Bella Lugosi or Christopher Lee. Damn you vampires! But to be perfectly honest, there is no point to being a vampire either. Sure, you get to be immortal and all, and you will be a sex symbol, you look like Tommy Bissot, and you get to be played by Bella Lugosi, and your teeth will be perfect. At first, you get to co-star with Joe Stavez and...